Well, my comment is um, if you're saying, you know, the danger zone and to get a high value man at this time, um, mm -hmm. how could we, how could I juggle it with getting a high value man back that um, I felt like I lost because I wasn't ah. um, in therapy. I wasn't, okay. um, I wasn't ready and he called uh. it out. He said I needed to get therapy and I really want him. Okay. You know what? I am glad you asked this question. How to fix it. Okay. Well, first off, you've already done step one, acknowledging that there is a problem. Acknowledging that you found somebody that could be in the area and let's just say it nicely, you might have screwed it up. Right? Yeah. How to yes. get it back. Uh, well, is the person still single and available? Yes. Okay. Approximately how long ago did you guys end your interaction? A year ago, but he doesn't live in the same state as me. Okay. A year ago? All right. And he ended it by saying, it was ended. He said that you need to yeah. get your, your stuff together. Yeah, he said, literally, I need to get therapy. Have you so. done that? Yes, I've been in therapy from that time. So yes, All right. I'm, I'm All still right. in therapy. All right. And have you learned anything in therapy that would have made a difference in the relationship you had? Yes, that I have to go from what I see right now. Um, I can't go off of what I've done in the past and I shouldn't mm -hmm. bring it up because mm -hmm. he doesn't know about that either. And it was always, I, I felt like I was giving him too much information where he would be it's like, I don't care. I don't want to mm -hmm. talk about that. And I was mm -hmm. like thinking he was mean, but I should never brought those things up because it didn't matter. Okay. And, so uh, it, he didn't so do anything hold on, to hold me. On, hold on, hold on. Making men in your present pay for mistakes of your past equals no future. That's what she's saying. Number one, number two, when men are ready to, to move forward, they really don't care about all that stuff. They just want to know, is it a problem? So uh, when was the last time you've spoken to this man since your breakup? Um, I haven't just over a year since that time, but it's mm -hmm. since all that has passed. Mm -hmm. Um, and I felt like I lost him. I, I moved on and uh -huh. I got married, but I don't want to be. With you got married? Wife. Yeah. You're currently married? Yes. I'm oh, married. Yeah. no, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, ma'am. Are you trolling me? No, I'm not. You, you broke know, up. I, this guy called it out, and instead of and you said you wouldn't got into therapy, yeah. and you're married, and you're actually you're actively on a platform with a million folks, actively talking about leaving your husband to get back with your ex. Because he's high value, and I felt like. Go ahead. Yeah, he's high value. And with um, even with watching you, it's kind of taboo. My husband is 25 years older than me. And so I would want to be with this other high value man because he's only about 15 years older than me. So. And what does your husband do for a living? He's a pipe fitter. He works at a shipyard. Mm -hmm. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Dress size? I'm a size 4 to 6. 
Mm-hmm. So if I'm, if I'm hearing you correctly, you were with a previously high value man who was 15 years old than you. Yes. And you kind of ruined that relationship, ran in the ditch. He suggested therapy. Mm-hmm. Um, and you came in saying you wouldn't got therapy, but and also in that course of time, you just, you, you've moved on and you got married to a man who's 25 years older than you. Yes. Who's a pipe um, And the reason you want to um, break your covenant with God uh, and wreck your home of the pipe fitter guy is because the previous guy was higher value, meaning he earns more money. Yeah, and his social status, how he looks. Um, what state do you live like in? Virginia. Or which part? DMV. Um. Yeah, yeah, you could say. Hold on, just a second. <clears throat> So, you live in Virginia, and what does the first guy do for a living? The, the, He's, the guy, the, what does the first guy do for a living, the higher status He's guy? like IT, some mm-hmm. cyber security, he, and he has his own business. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. I want you to ask yourself a question. What does it say about it? What do you think it would say to that man about a woman who willingly got married to an older man mm-hmm. and she was willing to leave her husband for the shot at getting back with him what do you think that would say to him that she is determined and she knows what she wants hmm. so hmm. it would be willing to give up something to get i feel like something greater mm-hmm. and I honestly know that being with my husband now, it was to say, yeah, I'm still a decent woman and, you know, men do want me, but I wanted to pick the right one that's able to do something for me. And I always wanted older men because Mm -hmm. of that feeling. So if if we switch this situation and it was a man who were, ruined his situation with a with a woman uh and he decided to get the therapy that he needed and get married to another woman but then he would be willing to leave his current wife to get back with the previous woman what would the world say about that man he it would say that this woman he got back with is the one he always wanted. She belongs and to the streets. I just felt like he not even being ready. I'm just glad he told me. How and old are you again, ma'am? I'm 27. Um, are you from this country? Yes. Do you have any siblings? Yes. How many? I have three and I'm the youngest. Mm-hmm. Uh, any sisters? Yes, one sister. Uh, is she married? Yes. What does she say about it? Uh, well, I don't talk to my sister. What would your father say about it? My father, he was against me marrying him. No, no, what does your father say about you talking about leaving your husband to go back to your ex-boyfriend? Uh, Well, he said that my husband gave me a home and that, you know, a young man won't do that. And I should appreciate that because he he gave me a home. He he bought me a home. Well, I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you, ma'am. I've heard some pretty interesting things in a year and a half of doing this show. But, um... You probably have to be probably the probably the worst woman I've ever spoken to. What? Wow. Yeah. 
I've heard a woman that actually was going to leave her, but at least she waited for her husband to be in remission before she left him. Now, I was hoping you were trolling, but the more you talk, the more realistic you are. So I honestly hope whoever knows this woman's husband, make sure he watches this video. Modern women, ladies and gentlemen. Modern women. <laughs> 